Hello and welcome back to Cisco Next Generation Firewall and ASAV and Amazon Web Services video series. In this video, I will give you overview of Cisco ASAV and Cisco Next Generation Firewall. Just to start with, Cisco ASAV is also known as Adaptive Security Appliance and it has been uh, there in security industry for a while. Uh, using this virtual appliance, uh, you get functionality of firewalling, NATing, access control policy, and the dynamic packet inspection. Uh, major use case for this virtual appliance in Amazon Web Services is VPN capability. You can use this virtual appliance for creating VPN tunnel back to your data center, or you can use it for remote access VPN to provide uh, network connectivity for your roaming users. In addition to this, we have built-in REST API plugin that you can enable and use it for programmatic configuration and monitoring. Uh, the other uh, important use case for this virtual appliance is route-based VPN. Uh, with version 9.7.1 and above, uh, we introduce feature known as VTI, Virtual Tunnel Interface. Using this feature, you can um, create VPN using a VTI interface. So this firewall is available and there is a market uh, place listing for ASAV uh, in Amazon Web Services and on the management side we have tools like ASDM Adaptive Security Device Manager Cisco Security Manager you can enable REST API and use it for management monitoring and orchestration and we also have support for Cisco Defense Orchestrator for managing ASA the other offering that we have today in Amazon Marketplace is Next Generation Firewall, which is also known as Firepower Thread Defense or Next Generation Firewall. Um, this virtual appliance will provide you functionality of firewall, uh, complete features that of next generation IPS. You can integrate it with, um, with AMP, uh, public or private cloud using thread grid integration. You can use this virtual appliance for VPN, remote access VPN or site-to-site -site VPN. Uh, it has uh, features for enabling um, uh, URL filtering. Uh, when you talk about licensing for this particular device, uh, you can install uh, term-based licenses which will give you functionality of IPS, URL filtering and AMP. Apart from that, Major use case for this virtual appliance in public cloud is again site-to-site um, -site VPN and remote access VPN. Uh, remote access VPN capability came out with version 6.2.2. So if you want to use it for uh, remote access VPN, you need to make sure that you are running appropriate version. On the management side for this particular virtual appliance, we have Firepower Management Center, which is also known as FMC. Uh, using this uh, this uh, management tool, you can not only manage your device, you can look at dashboard, you can look at events uh, to see what is happening in your network. There are various form factors available on um, of form factors available for Firepower Management Center. Uh, you can deploy it on uh, ESXi, on-prem ESXi, KVM, or you can even deploy it in um, uh, in AWS. So we have separate offering available for FMC. You can install it in separate management subnet and manage your NGFW v running in public cloud as well. Uh, so um, you can even use uh, FMC deployed in Amazon Web Services to manage um, your firewalls uh, located in different branch offices. Instead of uh, um, investing a lot of money in compute at your branch, you can uh, deploy FMC in uh, AWS and use that same FMC to manage multiple NGFWVs running in your different branches. 
when you talk about deployment models, we have we support uh, routed mode as well as passive mode in Amazon Web Services. In Azure, we have routed mode available today. Uh, when when I discuss about next generation firewall modes of operation on private cloud or on the hypervisor, we have uh, routed mode, which is a layer three mode. Uh, transparent mode is layer two mode. Inline uh, uh, mode is a mode where you create a pair of interfaces and traffic is always in line uh, through the virtual appliance, uh, so that any you can you can look at the traffic and you can take actions accordingly. Uh, inline tap is similar to inline, but uh, in inline tap mode there is no dropping of uh, traffic. So this is for the period when you want to evaluate um, your uh, next generation firewall and once you are satisfied with configuration or uh, when, when you are satisfied with signatures with all the policies of your virtual appliance you can then migrate to inline mode again P passive mode is a mode where uh, your virtual appliance is deployed uh, like an IDS you can uh, send copy of your traffic to uh, NGFWB or uh, so that you can see uh, what is happening in your network in your events events and you can use this device as an IDS so there are certain restrictions uh, on the action side um, uh, uh, that you cannot go ahead and um, drop the traffic because in the IDS mode it is just getting the copy of the packet and you can see everything in your events with this we have reached uh, at the end of our uh, part two of uh, the video series uh, so uh, stay tuned for part three thank you for watching and have a good day